Hi there. Welcome to Jennifer's test run on the Canon M50 Mark II. So what I'm going to do today is try out a sample vlogging video to see how well this camera does when it comes to vlogging indoors. And so we're going to do a sample cooking uh, video because I was watching the movie or the documentary on Netflix called High on the Hog and watching all that delicious African based diaspora food made me hungry and it inspired me. So what I decided to do was cook my rendition of the types of food that they were featuring in their first episode from the country of Benin. And a lot of it talked about okra, it talked about um, red sauce and tomatoes, and it talked about rice. So I just happen to have all of those things in my kitchen today. So what do we have here? We have my rendition of a Creole dish. I'm from Monroe, Louisiana, and my family is from Louisiana and from Mississippi. So I grew up with gumbo. And so this is a dish that has gumbo, corn, andouille sausage, shredded chicken, and diced tomatoes, as well as cayenne peppers, um, some smoked paprika, some zatarans, salt, and pepper and so I have been simmering this on the stove um, slow cooking it for about 30 minutes and I think it's probably about done now one of the things is that you oh one thing I wanted to add I put some bay leaves in it we put bay leaves in everything um, so I'm just gonna slowly stir this up I've been slow cooking this because with okra, one thing is a lot of people don't quite like the, the sliminess that comes in okra. And so one of the things that I learned is that if you just slow cook the okra for a while, it tends to char the okra for one. And then it cooks a little bit of that sliminess out, um, but it still leaves the sultry silkiness that okra adds to food. So, let's see how it tastes. So, this is very hot. Mmm! Mmm! This is delicious. It has the, it's, it's simmered together, the cayenne, the, the smoked paprika, the smokiness of smoked paprika. <clears throat> but when you swallow, it's a little spicy. Not a lot, just a little, just a little add, enough to add that hot kick that is so common in African, African American based cuisine, particularly from Louisiana. I think it's ready to be served. I already have a big pot of rice that I cooked before that, and this is a great way to use up all that rice. Before I cooked some red beans to go with the rice and I made some greens to go along with it. Uh, so this is a way to use up all that rice in a way that still celebrates my culture as an African-American. All right, take care.